42 left, third quarter. Eight under pressure, throwing deep for Henry. Touchdown! In the thick of it, 14 to 10. The Irvins has replaced Lockwood in the backfield. Keith. Sacked by Joe Bergen, a senior from Elmhurst, Illinois. He started the first seven games of the Spartan season, suffered a shoulder injury, has recouped, and what a thrill for him, not only to be able to play today, to make a big play. Certainly was a big play. Rodney Feet looking to get that short roll out of there. They just cut him up, got in there so quick, he didn't have any chance to move to the outside, and Bergen able to put him on the ground, on the outside. Kevin McLean, he can throw the ball as the holder, there it is. It's a fake. He's in trouble. Has to throw left-handed. Intercepted. Intercepted by Joe Bergen. A flag is down. Now 100 yards. Lorenzo White has both of the Spartan touchdowns. And he's got a first down. Holder finally gathered him at the 44. Southern California 10. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. While we were away, George Perlis asked his team, are you against me or for me? And so they, they said, I'm for you. There are well, four fingers. That four significant. Four-point lead, and we're into the fourth quarter. And Joe Pugh with White. Wide open is Willie Boyer. All the way to the SC 22. And I believe he was a secondary receiver. He was looking for Lorenzo White in the left lap, but White had fallen down or was knocked down, so he went to Boyer. USC committing eight people to the line, even on this running situation. A one on one situation for Boyer on the outside. He's taking advantage of it right there. That's 41-yard field goal. Oh, plenty of leg, and it is good. Officially 40 yards, and Michigan State builds its lead this 17 to 10. On the field here. Eight and a half minutes remaining. Pete on second down. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Henry. He just barely got that foot in bounds. Boy, if he polished his shoes, that would have been no touchdown. Through the last uh, 15 years, you could say that so often in these contests. McAllister. Throwing to Ryzen and it's caught at the 35 of USA. SC players looking at the sideline and saying he was out of bounds. But I believe they're going to give the reception to Ryzen. I said earlier, this is a man that on the right team would be an All-American right now. Watch the feet. Is he in bounds? Well, he's, he's in bounds until he touches out. That's right. That's the old jump pass. You bet. And he threw a strike. Well, what a nice throw here. We've criticized him for the bad plays out of the passing game. Let's give him his due. He's had some big, big plays here. And this may be one of the biggest, if not the biggest of the day. A great athletic effort by the athletes on this football team. And that's a high priority. To break the tie from 36, Langlow. Michigan State leads.
Jason, you said that the turnovers would be a key in this game. Southern California had the best record of any major college team, a plus 17 coming into this game. They're 4-0 against, and this one, most painful of all. Rodney Pete just never got that ball up from John Katnick, his center. Now, I don't know whether he pulled out early or Katnick didn't get it out in time. But that really is a costly, costly fumble. Todd Crum gets it for State. And look into the huddle. One of the brightest countenances of any of the athletes I've ever met, Rodney Pete. Uh, he's not going to be very happy at the outcome of this game. Two interceptions and the fumbled snap, which now looms as the biggest play. Way up in the air for grabs. Michigan State has it. And they now can genuinely celebrate the Big Ten has come to Pasadena and will go home a winner. snow from the Midwest. No one thawed him out. Michigan State, 20. Southern California, 17. The Budweiser outstanding player of today's Rose Bowl game Lorenzo White from Michigan State, Rodney Peake from Southern California. Budweiser will donate a total of $2,000 to the general scholarship funds of Michigan State and USC. The stars coming in produced today, but it was White with his great first half, and then a Michigan State team that played without mistake that earned the win. Rodney Pete on the far sideline, I'm sure, with some real pain in his heart. Some very big, big plays on the day. But Michigan State fought, clawed their way to get to this game. They hung on through this second half. They walk away with a well-earned victory. And you're right, Dick. Fewest mistakes really paid off in this game. And I thought I saw George Perlis look to the skies, wondering if that Irishman Duffy Doherty was finally smiling. That's the story from the Rose Bowl. Stay tuned for the Orange Bowl following these messages from your local stations.